Hi, I'm Paul Foster, and this is my restaurant Salt in Stratford upon Avon. Uh, we're a small restaurant doing relaxed fine dining, so it's all about high quality food uh, in a really relaxed, informal environment. Uh, today, I'm going to cook a partridge dish using red leg partridge, which is banging season. So, this is uh, red leg partridge. Um, I always get them in uh, long legged, so it means it's got the wing tips on, so you can check the quality of feathers. You've normally got a good skin coverage. The legs aren't prepped. If you get them oven ready, they tend to be a bit, bit bashed up. So we're going to start, remove the head, and then just remove the wings, coming into that wing tip, bend it back to get the bone out. And then exactly the same for the other side. So. So now whilst the skin's all on it, I'm going to give it a little blowtorch in just to burn off any feathers. So next step, just going to remove the legs, so in between the, the thigh and the breastbone, a small cut. And then dislocate the legs. Come round with the knife. Same for the next leg. So you just want to pop that thigh bone out, come around and remove as much meat as possible from the from the underside. After that, I just want to take this backbone off. So that's really simple. Snap, twist, and pull. So there's a food sack and where it's had its last meal just in here. You've got to get your fingers underneath. It's in between the skin and the meat. and then just pull off any excess. See the wishbone coming through? Just bring your knife down through it and release it at the end. Same for the other side. And then come up to the top. And when it's nearly done, just gently twist it off and remove the bone. So that's going to make it much easier to carve and then you're going to get less wastage as well. So just seasoned it with some sea salt and then that's going to go straight into the pan now. Always put it standing up and then I'll turn it on its sides afterwards. And then the leg is just going to go skin side down into the same pan. So a couple of knobs of uh, butter going in now. The, uh, the flavour of partridge is great. I mean, I'm a big fan of all game, but if you're if you've not had much game, it's a good one to start with because it's quite delicate. Uh, it's not like your grouse and your pigeon that tend to be tend to be really really strong and really gamey. Now this is going to go into a hot oven about 180 degrees, and it's going to take five to six minutes. Add a knob of butter, get it foaming, and get some lovely caramelisation on that shallot. So then this is going to go into the oven for about, about 8 to 10 minutes just to let it comfy. So these are yellow chanterelles. I like to serve them raw. So I just give them a slightly generous amount of uh, sea salt and then a rapeseed oil dressing. So it's a really basic neutral dressing. An extra virgin rapeseed oil and then some chardonnay vinegar. So I'll let this sit for about 5 minutes, let it suck up the vinegars and it will just sl slightly break down the mushroom as well. Partridge is now going to go into the pan. So I'm going to cook it gently to get a lovely sticky partridge glaze on that leg. So the partridge is nicely rested now. You feel it's nice and pink, lovely crispy skin on it. I'm just going to remove it as you would any any bird, just like a chicken breast, straight down because I've took that wishbone out. It makes it so much easier to remove. And then just through wasting as little meat as possible and then I'll come around I don't put the um, winglet bones on it so you can see we've just got a beautiful piece of meat nice and moist just ever so slightly pink there so first on the plate we've got a black garlic emulsion so you spread that on the plate quite thin because it is very strong it's got a lovely natural sweetness to it and then going in with the shallot 
a fermented shallot that was roasted. I've just topped that with some crispy fried onion and some chives. So we've got the partridge breast. I'm just going to season that with a little bit of sea salt. All the inside has been seasoned as well, but just a last little finish. These chanterelles have just, just started to break down. So they're lovely and, uh, lovely and moist. They've sucked up all that dressing. And they've got a really fresh flavour to them. And there's some um, pickled red onion. Carries on with the onion theme and just brings a bit more acidity to the dish. The partridge leg has got a lovely glaze to it now. So the last element to the dish is some watercress. It works really well with all roasted meat, but especially game. So here's the finished dish. It's a roasted partridge, black garlic emulsion, a confit shallot, and some beautiful uh, raw chanterelles.